hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm filming a little bit of a spare of the moment type video I fancied going into home bargains so I thought why not bring you guys along with me and then if I do pick anything up I will of course haul it for you later if you are new to my channel I'd really appreciate it if you did stick around and subscribe I also have two Instagram accounts one for my main like fashion lifestyle and my second one is a home account so if you are interested in the more homeware interior lifestyle kind of thing I quite often do stories and highlights them of all the things I spot out about whilst home shopping. With that all being said, let's head on inside and see what's new in at Home Bargains. I'm torn whether or not to get this egg chair. It's $24.99 and I just think it would be a lot more comfortable than the seats we've already got in our garden. We have a hammock and then this would look nice with it. I've also spotted these outdoor cushions so I'm going to pick up both of these. I've noticed this range which is like a dupe obviously of you know which brand but they have it in like fragrance and hand body moisturizer and candles as well 2.99 that's pretty good i love these letter candles but i've looked everywhere and they don't have an air which is a shame because i like the fact that they're gold um so i'll keep my eyes peeled for them i quite like that for decoration actually with just plain white marshmallows very simple in color just for decoration obviously love this table it's only 15 pounds as well i think that's really uh very urban or no maybe not anthropology more urban outfitters love that i don't know where i'd put it but hmm still love this chunky hand knitted throw at 24.99 but again the white for me is like kind of an off gray kind of cool toned white i want like more of a cream they've got it in gray and pink but if they did it in black i'd probably get it they've got all these fun like summer games barbecue sets and they've got lots of different things for father's day as well loads of different things there's even watches notebooks um sofa tray that's quite nice i've actually had that in the past but ended up donating it to charity and of course gift wrap as well they've got a load of new products outdoor and indoor with all these like bee designs on which I'm a fan of. I really like them. I'm going to pick up one of the reed diffusers, one of these, uh, just because I think they look really pretty. And then those are citronella candles. And we're all done, so I'm going to have to get home and haul all of this for you because I got more than intended. Okay, so I thought I'd change things up a bit and film in my front room. What do you guys think? If the sound's a bit off or it doesn't seem quite right, then do let me know and I'll head back up to the bedroom or in the other front room to film these hauls. So let's just get this one out of the way because being completely honest, who wants to see toilet roll in a hall? Not me. So yeah, Andrex, 12 rolls, interesting. Not really. Okay, next up. I did actually pick up one of these from B&M, but it broke. And it was one of these electric ones that was, it wasn't pricey, but it was pricier than I needed. So I ended up just going back to basics. I've got this standard spray bottle mop, and this one does come with a detachable uh, cloth. I use this for throughout all of downstairs because we have laminate flooring throughout the entire of downstairs. So this comes in really handy and I needed to update the one that had broken, so I have that now. Okay, so that spray mop was $6.99, which was probably half the price, at least half, if not more, than the other one that I had. So $6.99 does the job, that's all you need. Okay, next up I picked up two outdoor cushions in this very plain and simple beige colour, which is my kind of colour palette. If I can insert a picture or something from my Instagram home account of our little outdoor area, if you are new to my channel and don't know it, we have a very small outdoor space which we did up last year and we actually put in the back garden a hammock. So for when it's out there, I thought we could do with a nice little cushion in the hammock, but then we've also got the Ikea table and chair set which is affordable but the chairs are very uncomfortable. So for the person that's not sat in the hammock, like if me and Tom are sat outside there together, then this can be for the person that's like sitting on the uncomfortable chair. I believe they were 5 dollars each. Okay, let's move on to this bag now. And we have some exciting outdoor bits in here as well. They are these little bird's nests. So for one, I like the look of these more than anything. I think they'll look nice in our garden. But two, who knows, it might encourage some birds to come and pay us a visit. So these are handmade 
straw bird's nest with hook so you can just hang it up this one i think was about one pound fifty and these two were like 99p each any advice on what bird feed i should get or what birds eat i don't know what to put in these maybe if somewhere does like an actual bird feed that i can just put in you know someone's here when you've got ice lollies in the fridge and i think these are a nice little sweet treat which are like not unhealthy at all they are only 19 calories each four grams of sugar so hardly anything i think that's a nice little sweet treat to have they are only 99p for a pack of eight next up i have got this which caught my eye and it's something we don't have it's like a spatula but i really like the silicon spatulas we have a wooden one that honestly just needs throwing out now it's so old so i thought i would replace it with this jane asher spatula with a bamboo handle this will just go in our little wood wooden utensils holder so pick this up for one pound and 49 pence okay something i've always done is have spare gift bags and cards i actually have a card box so that as and when we have events coming up i don't think oh i need to rush out and grab a card if i need to just grab one quickly i've always got a little stockpile in um our bedroom upstairs so I stocked up because we were running low and I'll just show you briefly the ones that I got. This one was so pretty, a little something just for you at only 69p. Then I've actually given someone this one already but I repurchased it because I just think it's so nice. It reminds me of like Liberties or Harrods or Jo Malone, that kind of thing. Just for you and again at only 69p. And then I got this little gift wrap set which I thought would go quite nicely with this if I needed to wrap it as well. And it's just pink with gold polka dots. I've got a couple of gift tags in there as well. I don't actually know how much this one was. 99p. I've also got some cards, so stop piling up on some cards. I'll just run through them again so you can see a selection that Home Bargains have got. So this one is 69p. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Love the like kind of uh, paintbrush watermark type thing on that. 49p. And then pamper yourself on your birthday. 49p. No, oh. I clearly liked it so much. I got two of them. That was a mistake, but oh well. 49p, and then this one's only 29p. Why limit happy to an hour? Love them little cocktail uh, designs. And then we've got a couple of weddings coming up as well next year, so on your wedding day. Love the font of that. I actually used to use that font on my blog. 59p, super cheap, super affordable. This is another big one at 59p, sparkle on your birthday. And then this is a Father's Day one. Oh, should I show that one? Okay, Dad, if you're watching, look away. Dad, don't forget, without me, today would just be Sunday. You're welcome. On your birthday, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I just thought that'd be a bit nicer for, like, if we've got a male birthday. 39p. Hooray with love, it's your birthday. 29p. Another on your wedding day, 69p. Happy birthday, it's party time. 39p. Love the, like, gold embossing on there, if you can see. Love that. And then wishing you the best birthday ever. Again, quite neutral, so it could be for a guy as well. 49p. Maybe something that might be of interest to some of you guys as well. Okay, this one I'm excited to see how we go. I did it. I got the two to compare. I've just used my Zaflora grapefruit up, and I do actually quite like it. It's quite refreshed, so I thought pink grapefruit will bite again and i'm going to compare it to this pink grapefruit which is their fabulosa disinfectant now the flora is one that i would use anyway i think this one was about one pound 49 but they do have slightly smaller quantities available at 99p or at the pound at the pound world so let's give this one a sniff and have you seen there's a new one called uh what's it vanilla latte i think i need to get my hands on that one of you guys tagged me on Instagram in their post. Okay, yeah, the fragrance I know and love. And then let's try this one. It is slightly different. This one's fruitier. Mm. I think the real tester will be to um, fill the sink up in the kitchen with hot water and put a couple of capfuls of this in. And if I go out, leave the house and come back, if it's the flora, as soon as I walk in the house, I can smell it. If it's the same, then who knows? I may be swayed to change my opinion. What are the quantities? 220 mils and 250 mils. So there's not too much in the price. So I feel like I might end up just sticking with Zaflora, and I am one of those people that once I like something, I need it in every scent. So the fact that there is a new Zaflora out 
need to get my hands on it. If any of you have seen it in any local stores, whether it be Morrison's, Sainsbury's, whatever, please send me a picture and let me know where you spot it because that vanilla, I think it's vanilla latte. Well, anyway, it's some kind of latte. I need it. Okay, moving on. Oh, I picked up this. I've actually spotted it a few times I've been in and just thought, mm, should I, should I not? It's £1.49. So affordable. Love the design on the front. Things to do today. And it's got like this beige marble. And it is simply a to-do list. So you can put day, date, priority, and then a tick list for when it's done. And then a bit of a note section at the bottom there. This is my kind of notebook. <sighs> Misorganized. Anyone else get as much pleasure? Pleasure? Anyone else get as much pleasure from organisation as me? Please let me know. Next up, we have a little experimentation of some filter coffee. Tom's favourite coffee is filter. So we have a machine which we got from Class Olsen in the like closing down sale in their Manchester store. So I picked up two of the Lyons, Lyons range. Uh, a number three and a number four, rich and full bodied and dark and intense. And then I also got a slightly more expensive one uh, with 25% extra free. Okay, so the Lyons, Lyons coffee was only 79p. For filter coffee, for ground coffee, that's really affordable. And then the other one was £1.49, so. I found these two, which reminded me of the Nature, is it? Oh, what's it called? They're like all natural bars, which are quite healthy as like a little snack or a little breakfast. These ones are vegan and these ones are dairy, wheat and gluten free. So we've got an only natural cookie dough for wholesome cold pressed fruit and nut bars. One of you five a day. See how I go with them. Sorry, that was really loud. And then these Nutty Nature Protein Bars are banana toffee flavour. So if I'm craving a bit of a sweet treat and I've maybe just been to the gym or something, uh, then these are for the protein. So that's good. They were both £1.49 each. Okay, this is something that I first saw um, Alice Olivia use. And she basically uses the L'Oreal one. So I purchased it and I do like it. And it is essentially a root concealer spray so this one is in light brown i wanted to get it for comparison because it is cheaper this one's only 1.99 i thought i would compare compare and see how this one is this is in light brown conceals regrowth and covers grays washes out so the way that i use it is when i wear my hair up I have quite a deep like receding hairline it's not even like i have hair there but it's all just super fine baby hair so when i have my hair like up in a high pony sometimes what i like to do especially if it's a tight one is just hold my hand here and then see that little patch there that's a lot thinner just kind of spritz over it lightly and it just helps conceal the scalp so if any of you struggle with that as well then definitely try out the l'oreal one i can vouch for that i've tried it i like it this one, I'm going to give it a go. Probably let you guys know over on my Instagram stories how I got on with this. And then last but not least in that bag, I have this clean and refresh. No, it's clean and fresh. <laughs> Dishwasher cleaner. So I just feel like we've not done this in a while and we should probably do it far more often than we do. But I just need to give our dishwasher a bit of a clean. So this for 99p, you use, I think you use pretty much the whole bottle. Okay, moving on. Something that I needed the other day went out for a nice long walk walk slash jog slash run i didn't have anything to carry my phone so i was literally holding it it's too big to fit in like a tiny little key pocket on my workout trousers 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 so i don't have one of those armbands and i also feel like if the sun's out i don't want a big tan line there so i picked up this which is like a belt version and if i do want to listen to a podcast or anything it's got a little headphone uh, opening there this was only 199 which i think is pretty good Something that I struggle with is dry eyes. I wear contact lenses, I'm a contact lens wearer, and especially if maybe the pollen's a bit higher or something like that, I can get quite irritated eyes. So I picked up these, which I've not used in a long time. They're just eye drops rehydrating. They had a different range. They had like brightening or glistening or something. I just needed rehydrating, just good old wet my eyes because when you have dry irritated eyes it's the worst thing like 
you're constantly rubbing them, giving yourself wrinkles, ruining your makeup. So I'm gonna try using these um, at night time, maybe to just put a couple of drops in at night as I go to bed without my contact lenses in so that hopefully in the mornings I have nice, refreshingly moisturized eyes. Right, onto your home fragrance now. I picked up a few different read diffusers, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But first of all, I spotted this limited edition Glade spray which sounds amazing. It's called Smooth Amber Beats and it has notes of black rum, leather and mint. So it sounds like it's gonna be quite masculine. Sophisticated, opulent, the thumping bass beats against notes of dark rum, arctic mint and black leather. Let's give it a spray, shall we? That is amazing. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm definitely gonna go back and get some more of these because it says limited edition. So I don't know if it's, you know, gonna be limited for a long time or not. I don't know when's it gonna finish. That's really good. If you like the more masculine scents, the real musky tones, which I do, like me and Tom, we share fragrances. Mm, love that. I feel like I've just walked into like a man's boudoir. <laughs> definitely not. Moving on to the last few items. Are they all read diffusers? Oh no. Oh, there's one other thing in here. Let me just show you this first. It's an outdoor citronella candle, which is in this concrete finish. It does have garden on the front. They had a slightly different texture where it was like striped, again with garden. And they had one in a slightly smaller jar with a citronella candle that was in the shape of a cactus. Didn't like that so much because it's obviously not a cactus, it's a candle. So I just went for the plain old garden citronella candle that'll go straight outside and i just thought that was really nice how much was this this was only 1.99 home bargains is so cheap isn't it i actually love a bargain <laughs> like love a bargain i'm obsessed the first read diffuser i'm going to show you is from the botanical range that i was talking to you earlier with the b design and oh i've scratched the bottle a bit oh well it comes in this uh clear jar which kind of has a yellow tint to it uh, cork lid and black reeds, which is always the best. I love a black reed reed diffuser. The ones that I really liked the look of was their new range, which is very much inspired by Jo Malone. I got all three scents in the reed diffuser, but they also have perfumes. They also have candles in different sizes, two and three wick, I think. And they also have hand wash and body lotion. Pomegranate. Lime, basil and mandarin and jasmine and honey. My favorite fragrance of them all was probably the pomegranate as well as the lime, basil and mandarin. But of all the little designs, my favorite was the little bee. So I was like, which one do I go for? I'm just gonna pick up all three. These ones I've checked on the inside as well. They do have black reeds, which is always nice. I feel like they'd make great gifts as well, these, because I think they look pretty. They're only 2 dollars so maybe a great little stocking filler or like, birthday box hamper or something. Look how minimal the design is, love it. And then I'd say every time I go in the room and notice it, maybe every other day, every few days, I'll always just flip the reeds and it makes them smell even fresher. And that is everything that I've got. So thumbs up if you like home bargains, vlogs and hauls and let me know if you do want any more or of course if you want me to go into any other homeware stores. If you are a fan of the more homeware interior side to my channel then do go check out Freya Farrington Home over on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.